Hey, welcome back to Mojave KY. So, do your blackout blinds look like this? Are you looking for some decent blackout blinds at a reasonable price? Well then you, I think, have come to the right video. So this is not sponsored. I bought these blinds myself and uh, installed them and all of that kind of good stuff. Uh, I do have an Amazon link uh, below that benefits me a little bit uh, if you want to use it. But uh, just so that you know, uh, I did not get sponsored or contacted or anything uh, on this video. So if you have a room that you really want to black out uh, the light from, uh, a bedroom, you sleep during the day, you work at night, you have a young child, you want them to sleep as good as they possibly can, or if you're like me, you have a media room, and if you want to watch content during the day, these blackout blinds that I have now, they really just don't cut it. I mean, you'll, you can see, right, that they let the light right through. And these do have a backing. So these blinds here, you can see they have a white backing and that white backing isn't doing a lot uh, to prevent the light through. And it does somewhat, right? But I, I really wanna get it dark. So with new movies, it seems like a lot of times, like I just got the new uh, 4K disc for the Batman. That movie is super dark. And it is really hard on my projector to play that movie and have it look decent because so many of the scenes are just really dark. So to help my projector out, I am trying to find a better blackout blind. So these blackout blinds that I found, they have also have a liner, but the liner is black. I don't know if that specifically makes a difference or the fact that it's just a thicker blind in general. Um, both the blind itself is very heavy, especially when compared to my previous blinds that were supposed to be blackout blinds. But the blind's very heavy, uh, feels like very solid material, and it has that kind of black uh, inside liner, which I think helps. So certainly one caveat to it having a black inside liner is, I have some wooden blinds that uh, go over the window first and then the curtains go over the top of that. If I didn't and you were looking from the outside and the curtains were closed, it would just look black. So I don't know how great that would look to be honest. Um, I have the wood blinds, so I just close the wood blinds and then close the curtains and you know, that looks normal it looks good i guess i i don't know how great uh just uh black um backing blinds might look so i went looking found these ones on amazon they said you know 100 percent blackout i only ordered two of them so here in this video you'll be able to see that um you can see the two blinds and then on the third window in my room you'll see the other one so this gives a nice uh, contrast of what does it look like when you have the current new blinds up, the blackout blinds, and then what is that what's the, compared to my old ones, right? So you can see that here in this video. Now, I also uh, took my phone and turned the camera light on, put it behind the blind, right? And kind of tried to see if I could see the light moving up and down behind the blind, and you can't. So these do a really good job of blacking out the light. Now, getting them close enough up to the wall so that they kind of black out completely, I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. So um, they're still bleeding light out the top. I've done a decent job of getting the light now done. You won't see it in this video, but I adjusted the curtains to push them a little bit closer to the wall. And you might have to do that um, really to get that last bit of light out. The top, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I think if you want pure blacked out, you might need to put something over the top of them, but I'm not quite sure how you do that. Or maybe tint the window, I don't know. But that's really, at this point, kind of the only place that the light even kind of sneaks through a little bit. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, these are, you know, pretty inexpensive. I mean, they're a lot cheaper than the blackout blinds that you see that were up. 
I think we got those at like Macy's or something like that. And, and yes, it was years ago, but I think we got those at Macy's and they were pretty expensive per panel. You're getting these for, I wanna say, for a 52 by 95, which is what you're seeing in the long ones. Um, and you get two panels, so you get two 52 by 95s. Um, and then in the smaller one, I wanna say it is 52 inches by 65. So 52 by 65 for those. That's what you're seeing in the video. And that has done an excellent job and makes watching those darker shows like, you know, the old, the Game of Thrones season eight, if you remember that, just pitch dark in some of those scenes. Watching on my projector, I just gave up. You, you couldn't see anything. Um, in the Batman, uh, same thing, uh, really hard to see, but now with these new blinds up, huge, huge plus. So in the next video, as I'm trying to, to kind of keep my projector going for a little bit longer, just because new projectors are so expensive, I did buy a new screen. So in the next video, you'll probably see me uh, unboxing that new screen, and then I'll do some contrast from my white screen to this new screen. So the new screen's an elite screen. Um, it is uh, uh, ambient light rejecting, so I'm, again, trying to reject some of that light. So anyway, thank you guys so much uh, for joining today. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you out. If it does, check it out for yourself. It's Amazon, so you can you know, try them out and return them, which is why I didn't order all three windows. I only ordered two until I was convinced that they were good. But they're good and uh, highly recommend them. I'm probably now going to go get some for uh, our bedroom just to make it a bit darker because we don't have blinds in there and that would really, or curtains in there, and that would really help. So take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace.